create fade in and fade out effect in open tunes a brand new question filled with curiosity followed by an answer from you do you know that this effect is both helpful in scenes transitions like this or in adding extra details to your animation project like how this character in the background is slowly disappearing and reappearing same steps for the two work pieces and for the sake of keeping the explanation as simple as possible i'll be explaining the trick by using this project all right then little talk and more work let's get into it immediately let's start animating previously on ue design with open tunes launched and ready start by creating a new project naming it whatever you find suitable then by clicking new scene you will have to name and choose the width and height of your project when you are done click create scene from the panel up there switch to browser to drag and drop your work pieces here i have two images for the same place with day and night mode again Switch your viewpoint back to drawing. In the lower part of the screen, you will see what is called a timeline. By dragging this gray arrow, you can choose the length of the project. Since I don't want the night scene to appear in the first part of the animation, I will click on the top of the bar and push it somewhere in the middle. Then again, I will use the gray arrow and make the scene longer. In case you're having trouble in understanding what just happened, then by previewing the work, it will show you how long it is and switch between the two clips. A bit too stiff, don't you agree? But with the fading effect, this will change and become more natural. To add the effect, change your viewpoint to somatic. Here is where the magic will happen. Right click in any part in this big box will allow you to add multiple effects to your project. For us, we will go ahead and add our fading effect from add FX, layer blending, transparency. A new box have appeared. This is the box of our effect. Time for us to do some wiring work that will allow the program to understand where to apply the effect. You see, we have these two boxes for our night and day. In the day one, drag the blue triangle and connect it to the red one in the effect box. Then, from the effect box, blue triangle, connect it to the X sheet. Alert! Alert! Double check that the column one, the day box, is not connected to the x sheet as shown in this picture if it's connected then click on the wire and hit delete on your keyboard to remove it because if you were to keep it the effect will fade to work so do keep it in your mind back to our project you must have noticed that nothing have changed in the scene by clicking this eye icon the project will render everything and show you the result repeat the same steps for the night image when everything is ready and connected, double click on the effect box you wish to start with to get this small window. Then switch your viewpoint once more to X sheet. And this page will be able to manage the length of the effect occurring. Since we want the scene to switch to the night one, it has to be shown in the beginning then proceed into fading to do so. You must make sure that you are standing in the first frame. Then, from this box, make it zero, then hit the diamond shape. To remember when the scene is about to switch exactly, you can check this panel. Here, my day mood is going to add at 18. Go back to this box and scroll until you find the same number. Then again, from the box effect, turn it into 100 for full transparency. Hit the diamond and preview the animation Tada! the light scene is now fading into the night to make things more natural you can add the effect to the night one too this way the fading will look more natural but unlike the light mood which is fading out the night one is going to fade in come let me show you go back to the semantic viewpoint and click on the second box effect that is connected to the night scene switching back to the x sheet Find the number of the frame that the scene appeared in it. In my case, it is 19. At 19, make the transparency 100, hit the diamond, 
then scroll down somewhere in the middle of the animation, like 24, and reduce it to 0%. By previewing the project, you can notice that the two scenes are mixing into each other, more smooth and natural. With this, our tutorial has been concluded. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and never feel shy to subscribe to my channel for more useful videos. Also, feel free to check out my Buy Me Coffee page, which features tons of game design you can download and use on your own devices. Hope you had a fruitful watch. Yui is out. <laughs>